Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. In the previous video, we have seen the designing of sorting based on weight in the factory I.O. In today's video, we will see its ladder programming and try to understand each and every network step by step. So first of all, here in the driver, you can see I have connected my start button, stop button at this addresses, stop sensor at 0.2. Exit sensor left 0.3, middle 0.4 and exit. Okay, this, this is right exit sensor, um, just a spelling mistake. After that, my another input is conveyor scale weight. So that is my analog input. So that I have connected over ID 30. Okay, after that, what are my main outputs? So main conveyor scale means conveyor of the waiting machine. After that, these three are for the sorting machine, sort forward, sort left, sort right. And these are our conveyors, left conveyor, middle conveyor and right conveyor. These are my main outputs. And because I have connected three counters, so that I have connected over analog outputs, QD30, QD34 and QD38. Okay. And in the configuration, so this is my S7-1200 and you can change your input and outputs from here also and this mark shows that I have kept this forced means I will not require PLC outputs to turn it on it will be continuously on whenever the simulation is running so I have created one project in TIA portal the basic steps are very repetitive if you don't know that you can watch my previous video to see in detail steps here I will just briefly describe you what I have done. Whenever you create a project, you give it name, then you select the hardware. So here I have selected this model 1215 SEDC relay. Uh, you can select any model of S7-1200. After that, we have to copy paste the sample function block for linking with factory IO. Uh, how you can get this? Uh, that also you can watch over in previous videos. I have shared the files. So you have to copy paste this file. After that, I have written PLC tags uh, which are similar to this like 0.0 as start button. So in this way, I have named the PLC tags. After that, I started writing my main OB. Okay. So what I have done, I have written my code. Then I started my this PLC sim. I started from here, then downloaded my project from this sign. And again, I click on run button and click on connect button over here. So you can see right now it is connected. So I'm not showing these steps in detail to save the time and directly move to the ladder programming file. So these were the basic steps that we have to do in every project for doing project with factory IO. So simple, I have written 12 networks that I am going to show you step by step. Okay. And we will also do the simulation. So here, as I show you, what is the first thing? So first network is always enabling the function block so that we can link with our factory IO. How you can uh, write this? Simply drag and drop this over here and you have to write FC9000 in it. So this will be written by default. Okay. So this is our first network in all of our projects. So out of the 12, now only 11 network remains. So in just 11 networks, I have written the code of complete this function. So we will do one thing before moving to the code. Let us first see how the machine is working. So this is the middle box. So it should go to here. So first conveyor scale started, then conveyor scale stop. Again, it will conveyor scale started. Let me show you from here. Now let's see which box is coming. So as soon as this sensor is started, this conveyor will start and after some time it will stop. And now it is measuring. And now because it was small box, so it sorted over here. As this sensor is sensed, it resetted the, this all outputs. Again, this is, okay, I think it is small box. So it is going to sort left. Let us see if there is any big box. So as soon as this sensor is activated, this scale will on and again it stop. So it measures the weight and based on that, it will turn on these outputs for sorting.
Now this is medium box, so only one output is energized. Okay, finally the larger box came. Now these two outputs, forward and right, will be activated. You can see two outputs activated. So now as yes, the sensor is sensed, it reset all these outputs. So this is we can see our project is working satisfactorily. Now let us see the code. So first of all, let me reset this. Okay, let it sort and then we will press reset button. Even if I reset now it will work. You can see all the outputs are stopped. Okay, so let me stop this. Now we will understand each and every network step by step. Okay, so first network I already shown you. Now second network is to start all the conveyors. You can see. Okay, let me start this simulation. So as soon as this start button is pressed, main conveyor, left, middle and the right conveyor, this conveyors will start. Okay. So there are total four conveyors that you can see over here. As soon as I press this, all the conveyors are started. Now, this is little complex part of this program. What is that? Let me show you. If I don't stop this conveyor and keep this conveyor continuously on, it will not measure my weight properly. So what I have to do, first I have to start so box can be loaded over here. Then I have to stop and then again I have to start. So there are the three steps in it. Okay. Start, stop and again start. So this thing is little complex. You have to pay concentration and understand. When the stop sensor is sensed you can see stop sensor is sensed first it should start so first is started box loaded so what i have done i have simply taken timers okay now it's got stuck so it is not working so i have to reset this reset all the outputs and we'll start it again so now what i am trying to explain you over here so let us see so first s yes, this sensor is sensed this conveyor should start okay so here the middle line will execute first first it will start then the box is loaded so i have taken the time delay of one second so after one second it should reset so the box is here and i can properly measure weight and after three seconds mean another timer will start it will again start the this conveyor so box can move forward to sort so first this middle line will be executed after that this line executed so this conveyor will reset it and again after three seconds it will set so in this way i have written code for this conveyor okay now quickly moving ahead let me minimize this now my third network is to scale i have already discussed with you this will give me 0 to 10 volts and my configuration is 20 kg so for 10 volts 20 kg so 1 volt i am getting 2 kg so whatever the value i will get at my id 30 i have to multiply it with 2 to get my value in kg so here simply i have taken multiplier block and here i have selected real or you can select auto also we have to select the data type our input data type how i got this block so when you click over here in the instruction there will be mathematical instruction from that uh, you can simply drag and drop multiplication box and you can write id30 in input 1 2.0 in input 2 and at the output i have stored this value at data register md0 so md0 is my current weight of the box okay so these were the simple three networks for logic of conveyor scaling now coming to the fourth network finally what we are doing we are comparing the box value you can see when the conveyor is stopped here i have taken this output conveyor scale okay when the conveyor scale is stopped then only comparison will occur so here i have taken comparison blocks again how you can get this in the instruction comparator you will get comparison instructions from that i have taken greater than equal to and less than equal to function block you can drag and drop in top side you can write md0 
and at bottom I have written 8.0 so what while moving boxes there will be some minor error so I have taken the box weight should be between 8 to 8.0 means greater than 8 and less than 8.2 then it will move 1 in my MD2 data register if the weight is 10 or between 10.2 then it will move 2 in my this data register and if the weight of box is greater than 15 okay greater than or equal to 15 then it will move 3 in this data register so based on the value of this data register I will sort the box I will compare if MD2 equals to 1 I will enable the left output if MD2 equals to 2 I will enable forward output similarly so let us check this logic whether we are getting it or not so here let me press the start button so because this is the small box so here it will be written 1 okay you can see it was the current value was 8 similarly uh, this is the medium box so this line will be executed uh, carefully observe over here you see this line executed because this was the small box so it moved 2 in MD2 now again this is small box so it will execute this line so in this way I have moved values in this MD2 for small box I will move 1 for medium I move and this is the bigger one so this line will be executed you observe over here it was so fast that uh, we can't observe over here but we can see that big box is sorted left so this network is completely about comparing the current weight with our set weight these are the we can say this is our set weight and this is our current weight and based on this we have moved some value in this temporary data register so that we can decide where we have to sort so this was simple comparison network now 5 and 6 a network for sorting left here let me select small box only right now so I can explain you the logic again minimize this I will start and reset everything so we can start from the beginning and now here I will explain you logic for the small box if you understand the logic for the small box logic for the middle and large box are same so first this is let me start over here so if the weight is 8 kg it will move 1 to MD2 and if the value of MD2 equals to 1 it will set sort forward and sort left okay let me show you from here whenever the value of MD2 will be 1 it will set this two outputs so box is going to the left side I hope you understand well now we have to reset this output so how I am resetting this so here we have to see as the exit sensor senses this sort forward and everything is resetted sort left is resetted also we have to move 0 in this MD2 because this is the temporary register that we have set it based on the conveyor scale so if we don't zero this how we will move another box ok so what we are doing we are resetting three outputs first this conveyor scale sort forward sort left and the data register so four thing we are resetting so this is the simple network for sorting the left side okay the same thing I have written for sorting forward so if the value of MD2 is 2 I only have to start one output only sort forward okay and when the exit sensor says is this is the exit sensor middle one then I have to reset three outputs conveyor scale sort forward and move 0 in MD2 similarly for the right side if 
value of md2 is 3 how we got this based on the comparison if the weight is 15 kg it will move 3 in our md2 if md2 equals to 3 it will turn my outputs short forward and short right okay so these two outputs will be sorted and when the exit sensor senses it will reset my short forward okay here you can see so when the right exit sensor senses it will reset short forward short right and conveyor scale zero and also it will move zero in md2 so this was the my 10 networks okay let me collapse all what is my 11th network when i am pressing okay let me come over here when i am pressing this reset button all the q bits memory bits and the md2 value is becoming zero now this is something new for you how you can get this so in the instruction you go in bit instruction in the bit instruction there will be command like reset bit field okay so you have to select it at the top side you have to give starting address so i have given my starting address as q0.0 .0. now what it will do my maximum outputs are up to 7 so total there are the 8 outputs so here you have to write number of outputs you want to reset so when this line is executed all the outputs 8 outputs starting from q0.0 .0 will be resetted similarly i will reset my own memory bits if i have used any and also i will move 0 in my md2 that is my temporary data register to know whether in which direction we have to sort forward left or right so this is my logic for resetting and finally my 12th network for counting the boxes so based on the exit sensor when the box is finally over here exit sensor i will count up again how i got this so in the instruction block counting functions you have to select counter of instruction drag and drop it over here in the pv i have written 100 because maximum i am going to sort 100 boxes over here uh, here you can see it is showing me in the this is the current value because i want to display this so here i have written qd30 qd34 and qd38 over here now when you will drag and drop the box over here it will be asking automatic or manual so you have to click on automatic and click ok so you can see this dbs will be created automatically and these values we can see over here because till now we have sorted this many boxes so it is showing like this 47 8 kg box sorted 22 10 kg box sorted and 12 large box 15 kg box sorted so you can see it is showing our counter values over here so this were the complete programming so i hope you like this project and if you want to see more projects like this show your interest by liking and subscribing our youtube channel meet you in the next video with another interesting example